hey how's it going so got a quick um bonus unboxing it's a collectible so it actually isn't physical media it is another mega scale collector's doll for my collection um from mezco and the one that i've picked up is the latest edition edition and i just had to like something was pulling me in and um i kind of didn't want to spend the money but i thought yeah i'm getting it so i picked up art the clown that's him in the box that's the side of the box quite a big box it's got a hole in the back as well because it's um it comes with noise function leather face um came with the chainsaw function this also has its own function chucky could speak this makes um noises too which is pretty cool if i can actually find the right if i can actually find the button i'll take a sec so obviously like from the terrified film he honks the horn at people to um, antagonize them he does that and also there's a slashing sound like that anyway let's take him out of the box so you can see me there i'll put the box down because i know there'll be plenty of like little tart plastic ties and things i've got a trusty pair of scissors so i'm just gonna try and get in there as quick as possible i'm so excited about this one um i love collecting these things i've got ghost face mega scale chucky leatherface freddy krueger and jason Voorhees, and now i have um art the clown and to be fair it's a good feeling because this thing just looks damn right amazing so you take the plastic tab off it's very well packaged like that and then you remove the top and then he's in there like so so the box is very big so i'm having to kind of keep it on the ground and then you take him out and he's displayed like that so i i'm just going to undo some ties they are metal ties though so this is going to be difficult as hell um don't even know if my scissors are going to snip these i hope so no i'm not in trouble with it i thought this could be lengthy Luckily, it seems that only his neck is tied in, so it may be a bit easier than it looks to get. Um, get it unclipped. They're actually plastic ties. I thought they were like the metal ones. They just have like a metallic finish. I'm going to see if I can just... Let's see if we can get the trusty cutters in there and just like this thing there we go so he was tied in he no longer is let's unopen him and have a good look because it's very detailed let's have a good oh he's got bottom ones sorry um i'm gonna have to there on the front so let's just in fact he does have the full set of ties um if i can just get in there without doing any damage which I should be able to and then we will take a good look at the Mezco Art the Clown Mega Scale there we go and all we have to do is try out these um, legs which are very secure these things come very secure to, to um, less chance of damage Maybe sweat a little bit that did so he's out he comes out the plastic should be fairly easy now i've loosened him also comes with a saw that's pretty cool he's sampled, which is also tied down they really do tie everything down well in these gotta be careful not to actually well 
There we go. No damage. Out you come out. Out you come. Just gonna try slightly on him. Sorry about the noise. That's what it looks like out of the box. And it looks like he has a lot of points of articulation so you can position him very well. Well, his arms move like one motion. They move out to the side a little bit. You can twist them like so. Um, he's clothed, looks brilliant. In fact, I am gonna do a POV of this as well. So at the end, so that's how he looks. That's the kind of scale. Um, Mezco toys, Art the Clown, Mega Scale. And then, of course, the sounds. Really nice, so a few points of articulation. So you can actually move him about and stuff. Really nice. Um, stand by for a bit of POV action. And here's a POV look at his face. I um, found it quite difficult to get the whole body in with it being such a big figure. But I can take him back like that. You can see the details on his boots. He's obviously wearing his famous Art the Clown outfit, black and white clown outfit. There's a look. That is even plastic, a really hard plastic. That's fabric. The actual clothing's fabric. He's got the plastic hat on top. Looks fantastic. And of course you get his rusty saw, which you can place in his hand, which I will set up for display and show you at the end of the um, video. So. Hold on for that. This part. is what I wanted to mainly show on my video, him on display. So as you can see, he looks fantastic. A lot of detail. You know, he's even got the bandage wrapped around his hands. He's got the horrible, disgusting sort of brown teeth. Bright green eyes. That's what it looks like from afar. Right next to my Freddy Krueger. Freddy's hanging out there. Art's hanging out there. And then there's my other figures. I've got some little ones and Trick or Treat Studios doll. That all looks fantastic. But yeah, there's another look at the mega scale Art the Clown in detail on display. Absolutely awesome. That's my unboxing. Art's a new addition to my collection. Really proud to have it. Looks fantastic. Really fills out the little terrifier section. Once again, thanks for watching. Um, have you got any mega scale collectibles? I think they're fantastic, the Mezco ones. I know NECA could do some good stuff as well, but Mezco, wow. Really knocking it out of the park with this Art the Clown doll looks looks absolutely phenomenal.